In this video, we're going to look at a few more advanced searches that we can do with Ruby on Rails using the active record tools at our disposal. So let's first get into our console and bring up our console for Movie Critic. So I'm in my Movie Critic directory and I'll type script console. Go ahead and start it. And now we're loaded into the environment. Let's go ahead and take a look at our database here. And I'm going to drop this window down so we can see both windows. So this is our movie movies table. And I've added a few extra movies in here. You might want to do that in your database if you want to work along with me, however you're going to do that. So let's first do a different type of find. In, in previous video, we did a find, and then we did inside parentheses after the find some parameters and stuff. But I'm going to show you a dynamic finder, which is based on the column names inside of your table. So if we do a movie and then find by name, and we put in a name of a movie in here, let's do platoon, there we returned our movie. Now if we do another one where we do instead of by name, another field name in there is genre, and let's put war, and there we get returned the first one in our table that has that genre. Now what if you wanted to use that to find all of them? Well then we just go in here and add the little keyword all. So find all by genre. That's got a nice English natural language ring to it. We'll go in there. Now we found all of our movies that have the genre of war. So the dynamic finders are really nice. It's just based on the column name, and you can append all in there if you wish. There's a few other dynamic finder options available. They make it especially easy if you don't need to do a bunch of manipulation with the stuff coming from the SQL server coming back in. The only thing to keep in mind is that some of the work is done local on your application, your Ruby application, versus if you send SQL in, that's done on the SQL server, so that's just something to keep in mind. Let's try one more advanced find here. We're going to do, back on the old form, we're going to do movie find. Now say we wanted the first movie given under certain conditions, so we'll say we want genre equal to war, but we want this ordered by, so we can set a, a sort order on here, and we'll say we want it sorted by the name. So before I run this, let's take a look here, down in our table here. The, th the three movies in here that are, have the genre of war are Apocalypse Now, Platoon, and A Bridge Too Far. Alphabetically, a bridge too far is the first movie in if you sorted these alphabetically. So by asking this to be sorted by the name, that's what we're going to get. There we go. A bridge too far gets returned to us. So this order, you can set up to order these however, whichever way that you want. Now there's a few other things that we can look at here. If we want to get just a straight up count, so we could say, yeah, let's just say count movie count equal movie dot count and there we have six in there and that that matches up but we can also give it where we go war movie count equal and then we can give it some conditions get our parentheses right here And now we have three war movies. So you can do some pretty complex things using simple method calls and combining different conditions inside of these different method calls and makes it pretty straightforward for getting out of your database the information that you need.